Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, I will um, talk about the imperialism of human soul, written by Father Ron Rol Hessler. Uh, this was published in Catholic Register. In his autobiography, Greek writer Nikos Kazantidis shared how his youth has been driven by restless and had him searching for something he could never quote and define. However, he made peace with his luck and peace because he accepted that, given the nature of the soul, he was supposed to feel the restlessness and that uh, a healthy soul is driven soul. Commenting on this, he writes, no force anywhere on earth is imperialistic as the human soul it occurs and is it occupies and is occupied in turn but it always considers its empire too narrow uh, sophisticating as desire to conquer the world and uh, uh, breathe freely we need to be given permission, I believe, to accept as a God given that imperialism inside our soul. Even as we need always to be careful, never uh, trivialized its power and meaning. However, this is a formula for tension. How does uh, one make peace with the imperialism of one's soul without generating the divine energy that is stalking the imperialism. For me, this has been a struggle. I grew up in the heart of the Canadian prairies, with 500 miles of open space in every direction. Geographically, the space lets one soul stretch out, but uh, otherwise my world seemed too small for my soul to breathe. I grew up inside the tight-knit tight community in the isolating rural area where the world was small enough so that everyone knew everyone else. That was wonderful because it made for a warm co uh, cocoon, but that for cocoon seemingly separated me from the big world uh, where it seemed uh, to my young mind souls could breathe in the space bigger than where I was breathing. Moreover, growing up with uh, an acute religious and moral sensitivity, I felt gu guilty about my restlessness as if it were something abnormal that I needed to hide. In that state, uh, in that state uh, as uh, an 18 year old, I entered the religious life. Novitiate in those years were, were quite strict and uh, secular. Uh, we were 18 of us novices uh, uh, same age sequestered in the old seminary building across the lake from the town and the highway we could hear the sounds of the traffic and see life of the other side of the lake but we were not part of it as well as uh, most everything inside of our sequestered life uh, focused on the spiritual so that uh, ever uh, mo most uh, earthly desires had to be uh, associated with a hunger for God and for bread of life. Not an easy task for everyone, especially a teenager. Well, one day we were visited by a priest who gave my soul permission to breathe. 
he gathered us, uh, the 18 novices, into the classroom and began his conference with the questions, are you feeling and you uh, uh, little restless? We uh, knew that reader uh, surprised by question. He went on, well, yes, you should be feeling restless. You must be jumping out of your skin. All that life is uh, in you uh, and all uh, these fairy uh, hormones staring in your blood and you are stuck here watching a life happen across the lake. You must be going crazy sometimes, but that's good. That's, uh, uh, that's what you should be feeling if shows you healthy. Uh, stay, stay with you. You can do this. If uh, it's good to feel uh, that restless. Uh, that day, the wide open prairie space I had lived my whole life in the, and wide open spaces in my uh, befriended each other life. And that friendship continues to grow as I did studies and read authors who had uh, befriended their souls. Among them, this spoke to me, St. Augustine, you had made uh, us for yourself, Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you, Thomas Aquinas. The adequate object of the human intellect will uh, uh, and will is all being, Iris Mudraj. The deepest of all human pains is the pain of in a, in, inadequacy of self-examination, Karl Racher in the torment of insufficiency uh, of everything attainable and ultimately learn that here uh, in this life uh, there is no finished symphony. Sidney Callahan, we are made to ultimately sleep with the whole world. It is wonder that uh, we long uh, uh, for this long way, the James Hillman, neither uh, religion nor psychology really honors the human soul. Religion is forever trying to save the soul and psychology is always trying to fix the soul. The soul needs uh, neither to be saved or to be fixed. Uh, it is already eternal. It just needs to be listened to. Perhaps today, the real struggle uh, is um, not much to accept sacred permissions to befriend to uh, wild uh, instability of the world. The greater struggle today, I suspect, not is to travelize the soul, uh, not to make uh, in infinite languages uh, something less than uh, what they are. During the Second World War, Jesuit theologian resting in the Nazi occupation, resisting the Nazi occupations in France published the underground newspaper. The first issue opened with the now famous line, France, take care not to lose your soul. Uh, fair warning. The soul uh, is imperialistic because it carries divine fire and is so struggles to, uh, to breathe freely of the world. To, to feel honor that struggle to be healthy. Beautiful article. One thing we will all remember is religion is forever trying to save the soul and psychology and is trying to fix the soul and soul is eternal may god bless you amen